Hello world, Techno Sleuth Craig Chamberlain here. We're going to disable our Windows automatic updates today in order to uh, make your interface a little less intimidating and a little less annoying. As you know, you get those uh, pop-ups periodically in your bottom right-hand corner taskbar that'll tell you Windows has completed updates. You must restart now and it'll constantly annoy the heck out of you. And uh, it'll also say updates are available, install, install, install. We're going to disable those so that we can uh, get them out of our way. And uh, I'm going to show you a way to do it manually instead. So first thing you need to do is click on your start menu, then click control panel. And what that'll do is, is that'll bring up your control panel. It may be in the category view. So let me switch to that real quick. If it's like this, you can click on security center here. If it's not like this, uh, in, in you are in classic view, just double click on the security center as it is right here. Now, when Security Center is brought up, there's actually, a, it, it's a, it, it's kind of hidden. Up in this left-hand corner here, you have this little uh, option at the bottom of the Resources tab that says Change the way that Security Center alerts me. Click on that, and what you have here is you have your three boxes that you want to go ahead and disable all three. Basically, this is telling you that we're going to stop annoying you about the automatic updates, the virus protection, and the and the firewall settings. Once you've done that, um, it, it'll uh, it'll stop notifying you down here in the bottom right hand corner. So actually, disable automatic updates. You can just click on the automatic updates tab. It'll bring up your automatic update windows window, and mine is set to notify me, but don't automatically download and install them. I'm actually going to set that to turn off. Then I'm going to click apply, and Windows, of course, is going to yell at you and tell you that warning, 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 automatic updates are off, but you know that they're off. It's not like a virus disabled them. Notice it took it out of my bottom right-hand corner here. So now we basically disabled the notifications so Windows won't annoy you about them anymore. And we've also disabled your automatic updates from running in the background and chewing up a little bit of resources. It doesn't use up too much. depends on what it's doing and whether it's downloading and chewing up your bandwidth automatically. So since we're done with that, I'm going to show you how to do it manually. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to take from your start menu. Most of you are going to have this shortcut already in your start menu. It's the Windows Update icon. So scroll up to your all programs, scroll up to the top, and then drag your Windows Update icon onto your desktop. And there you go. When you double click on that, that's going to open up an Internet Explorer, and it's going to run your auto run your automatic updates through their system. And for those of you who are following my series, we can go ahead and drag the Windows updates over here. And I was going to put them at the bottom of my list for all my maintenance uh, windows. So basically after I do all my maintenance routine, I'm gonna click on the automatic updates uh, button and I'm gonna do all my Windows updates as well when I do my monthly maintenance. Notice how it did open in the Internet Explorer. Internet Explorer is not my default browser. So when you run this actual update automatic update tool, it knows that you have to run an Internet Explorer, which is why I like to use this shortcut. For those of you who don't have the shortcut, just right click on your desktop, click new, click shortcut, and then what we're going to do is, is we're going to navigate to the same window that this this actual file is stored at. Click Browse. And then we're going to go to your C drive, which will be under Computer. C drive. And then we're going to go to Windows. And then we're going to scroll down to System32. Then we're going to scroll down to WUPDMGR updmgr.exe. See that? Okay, we found it. Click OK. Click Next. Go ahead and rename it. Windows Update. Click Finish. Oh, it already exists, so because I already created one on Windows Update on my desktop. Name it whatever you want. I It didn't let me create it because I already had one named Windows Update on my desktop. And then that'll create your Windows Update uh, shortcut. Again, that's pretty much all there is to it.